my name is Kat, and today we are here at MIFE Intelligence with another video. Today I have Wynette over here, and we'll be interviewing her about her time interviewing for a Goldman Sachs position. Hey, Wynette, thank you so much for joining us. And can you just start off with a super brief inter introduction and tell us where you actually interviewed and for what position? Yeah, so my name is Wynette. I'm a third year commerce student at McMaster University. In my second year summer, so that was summer of 2021, I interviewed for Goldman Sachs New York in their global markets division, which is also called sales and trading. Okay, awesome. And so you said in the summer, but in what month specifically did you apply and how did you apply? Did you need to network a lot or did you just do it through the portal? Yeah, great question. So I saw the Goldman Sachs global markets applications open in July, I believe. I think it was July 1st. And I just thought I would shoot my shot. So I applied with my resume and the cover letter. They only allow 300 words. So it wasn't my full cover letter. I condensed it and I just waited on it, and I didn't network at all. I had previous sales and training experience, though. I think that kind of pushed my resume to the top. And then in August, I got a higher view, which is a virtual one-way interview. I did that, and then about two weeks later, I heard I had a super day, which was three 15-minute Zooms back to back to back. Usually, they fly you out to New York, but because of COVID, it was on Zoom. And then a couple of days after, I found out I got the job. Well, first of all, congratulations. That is so amazing. Just applying, especially from Canada, as I know they don't often take that many candidates from Canada. So yeah. huge congrats. Can you tell us about the Super Day? What was that like? Were they all behavioral or technical sort of interviews? Yeah, so I found interviewing in Canada to be a lot more technical. So market-based questions, as well as just black and white technical questions on like accounting and corporate finance. Um, but when I was interviewing for Goldman Sachs, it was a lot more behavioral, situational, and what I would even say ethical. There were questions about, you know, how would you deal um, with really sticky situations or if certain people disagree with you, conflicts. And so I would really suggest going through those situational questions, perhaps prep a little bit differently as you would if you were prepping for a Canadian interview. Okay, interesting. And was the one-way interview that you did in the beginning also a similar type question? Actually, no. The higher view was very much like straight behavioral questions, like why do you want to go into global markets? Why Goldman Sachs? What makes you a great candidate? So kind of like the classics of what you think. And then when you finally make it to the person interview, it's, it's definitely um, more thought out in complex situationals. And so how did you prepare for these sort of complex situational questions, especially ones about ethics? I know those are pretty tough to prepare for and talk about them. Yeah, so I think the number one thing is to think of examples when you've also been in kind of sticky situations, whether that is with different personalities or just tight deadlines or a really strict task. So just kind of jotting them down, having your stories in line so that when those ethical questions pop up, you can say, this is what I would do. And I actually did this in the past. Awesome. And so is there anything in particular that you did to prepare? Yeah, so I actually went through a IV sales and trading deck and it has 50 behavioral and 50 technical questions. The behavioral served me really well in the Goldman Sachs interview. And I think now that I've done it, I probably wouldn't have spent so much time on the technical questions and more looking at situational and ethical and just building up those stories that I could keep in inventory when I needed to talk about them. Okay, awesome. That's a great tip. And was there one question in particular when you were interviewing that was really tough for you and you still remember to this day? Yeah, I actually think there was two. So the first one was, what would you do if your superior took credit for the work that you've done? That was very difficult. And the second one was, let's say that there's a new product on the market. How would you go and learn more about it? Very, very broad in the products they use, like, I think the example was widgets. So it wasn't anything I could really relate to, just knowing um, what you would do and just be honest with communicating it strongly as best as you can. Okay, wow. And last thing, do you have a piece of advice for anyone who is currently recruiting for sales and trading? Yeah, I think the number one thing is just to be really passionate and interested. If you like news, politics, economics, debating, I think you should definitely give sales and trading a shot. Passion's gonna show through 
um, through those interviews. So making sure you have it in the first place is definitely the first step. That is amazing. Thank you so much. This was so helpful. And I hope that our fellow Canadians watching can see that there is hope to get into the United States, even in firms like Goldman Sachs. So don't be discouraged. Always apply. And like she said, shoot your shot. Thank you all yes. so much for watching. And Wynette, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. Bye, guys.